going on. And what I want to teach on tonight is the root of all evil. It's something I haven't fully covered since this church started. And it's a very, very fundamental, important doctrine that we find here in 1 Timothy chapter 6. And I'm just going to read this one verse for you, though, in light of the things that happened. Ecclesiastes 9.18 says, Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroyeth much good. There is a lot of damage that one person can do to the cause of Christ. And we want to all keep that in mind. Because you, as, you know, as is evident, as we've already seen, you know, people oftentimes will think, well, it's just me. It's not that big of a deal. Well, I can just go off into my sin and everyone else can be fine. That's not the way it works. When you get into sin, you're going to end up doing much damage and especially if you're someone, especially when you, if you're someone that's known to be a Christian, you're representing our Lord Jesus Christ here on earth, and people know, hey, that's a Christian person, whether or not you're a pastor doesn't matter. Just anybody in your life, anyone in your, your field of, of influence, people who know who you are, family members, relatives, coworkers, whoever it is, that ought to know that you believe the Bible, you follow Jesus Christ, when you get yourself into sin, when you get into, into these matters and really just defile yourself, you destroy much good. One sinner can destroy a lot of good. Now, the Bible says here that the love of money is the root of all evil. And I have a couple other Bible versions here, especially if you're visiting for the first time. You may or may not be aware, we are a King James Bible only church. We only use the King James version of the Bible because we believe that that is the preserved word of God in the English language. Since we speak English here, that's what we have. We don't speak Greek. We don't speak Hebrew. We don't speak Spanish. I mean, some of us may a little bit here and there, but we are an English speaking church. So we have the word of God in our language and we thank God that he's preserved it for us today in the King James Bible. And the reason why I make a big deal out of this is because the other translations of the Bible in English literally say different things. And it's not just the these and the thou. So don't be deceived by people who say, oh, well, they just try to make it a little bit easier to read. They just modernize the language. That is not true. They may get rid of the these and thou, sure. I don't deny that. But there are so many places where verses are removed, where phrases are removed, where, where verses literally say the exact opposite of each other. You cannot put two books side by side, call them both the Holy Bible, and if they have places where they say the exact opposite thing, say, well, they're both from God. Well, no, they're not. No, they're not. And God is the one who promised to preserve his word for us. And I believe he's kept his promise. Now, I'm not going to, this isn't about a King James only sermon, but I like to bring up some of these issues just here and there as I preach when they're pertinent, and when they're relevant. And I just want to point out here because this is a very important doctrine, the love of money being the root of all evil. And I'm going to explain that more in depth. But before I even get there, I just want to point out, I have here uh, a parallel Bible of the Living Bible and the NIV, which are both very uh, popular versions of the Bible that are widely used among Christians. And in 1 Timothy chapter 6, in verse number 10, the Living Bible says here, for the love of money is the first step toward all kinds of sin. That's not exactly the same thing as being the root of all evil. The root is the cause. It's the source. It's not just the first step towards, towards all kinds of sin. No, this book says it's the root. And in the NIV, it says in verse 10, for the love of money is, is a root of all kinds of evil. Now, I also have the new King James version right here, and I'm not going to turn to it. I have it right here. You can check it out later. It basically says the same exact thing as the NIV. It's a root of all kinds of evil. There's a huge difference there because it's either the root or it's a root. I mean, would you say that would be a big deal if the Bible says where Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, as opposed to I am a way, 
a truth and a life, they're two very different things. One is very exclusively the way. And this may not have that much of an impact of, you know, about Jesus Christ being the Savior. However, the difference is still the same as far as using the words. It's either the root or it's just a root. It's just a cause, but then there's all these other causes. Well, which one is it? Which one's right? They can't both be right. And is it a cause of all evil? Or is it just many kinds of evil? No, the Bible says it's all that's the root of all evil. And that's and the reason why it's so important is because that's gonna help us to take heed to the love of money, to covetousness, and to really, really be careful that we don't allow ourselves to go down that path because it's gonna lead us into all manner of sin, all manner of evil. Because that is the root. That is the source.